Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. And we have the nine, the, this is the nine of swords in the traditional tarot deck here, the nine of swords. Unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to a situation, sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. So this is unnecessary fear. You could be putting your own endings on things here or fearing the worst when it's not needed. Okay, we'll see what this is about. I'll take one of these cards. The tarot will explain clearer what this is about. I'll take a couple of these. There we go. Hey, stat, karma, you will reap what you have sown. You'll reap the rewards from what you have sown. So in other words, you get out of something what you put into it. If you're in this negative energy or worry, you won't be able to see the way forward because you'll attract more negative uh, energy towards you. We have to reach for the more positive thought and stop worrying. We need to refocus our thoughts here. We need to understand as well that poetic justice and the law of attraction exists in the universe. So if you're putting the work in or you're thinking positively, that's what you will attract to yourself. They're talking about karma here, and that's a law of attraction. Box, you will receive a gift. Mm, there's a gift on its way to you. And this is your karma for your efforts. It can be karma, the gift can be, you know, coming because you're having a more positive outlook on life. So you're attracting more positive things in. So we'll see what the tarot is here. There's anxiety somewhere in fear. And we need to change that. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, this is New Beginnings, and the Knight of Pentacles. Now this here is your thought, your perception of things. Spirit is wanting you to stop worrying and to refocus your thoughts onto things that you can put your efforts into that you'll enjoy and you can create and grow things for yourself. And this is brand new beginnings for stability. The energies around you will change. Now this could be windfalls and inheritances that come through that allow you to do this. You could purchase a home. This here could be starting up a college course, a business. This is a million different things. Whatever you're drawn to do, whatever you're passionate about, you could have the opportunity. You've always got the ability to do this, but we have to be positive. We have to be looking at things that we're excited about. We have to be motivated to take up new experience for growth. And this could work out really well financially. So your education could bring you a better paid job. Buying a home, you're investing your finances through time that we profit. Uh, there could be a college course that you're taking on here. You know, and there could be bursaries coming through and little part time jobs to balance out your finances. There's lots of different things you could be doing other than worrying about things. And it's on the karma card. When we're starting to look at things that are passionate, things appear for us. There's a gift coming in. You will receive a gift. Gifts from the universe will start to come in. Now, this could take you a wee while. You could be worrying about things. You could have been in a situation where you're worrying for a wee while because this is the Knight of Pentacles and it's a very slow moving. But what Spirit's suggesting here is that you tread carefully. You take tiny steps towards starting up and going towards whatever you're passionate about. Take time to think about this. Look at the details. Work out how you're going to do it. Now, if you, for example, you're looking for a new job or there's an industry or something you're passionate about doing, what can happen is the, the gift can be somebody coming in. The universe can provide you with a job opportunity if you're wanting to move careers. But I'm just giving you an example here. Somebody could bring you opportunities. And this is a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy that could help you go along your way. Because, And it could be that you, you've waited a long time. You've been in this, a situation for a long time and it's causing a lot of anxiety for you because this is very slow moving. If you're signing up for courses or signing anything legal or getting involved in any you know, financial projects, look at the details. Make sure you read the small print, dot your I's and stroke your T's because the beauty of him, the nice Knight of Pentacles, and I'm saying he, it's not a gender specific reading, is that he does the groundwork first. So he gets a solid foundation. So he's like, he knows exactly, he's on you know solid footing here. He knows exactly what he's investing in. He knows exactly what's expected of him. He knows exactly where to put his efforts and how much is going to be expected of him. So we'll just clarify this Nine of Pentacles here. 
There could be surprise things coming out of the woodwork here. And it's all about changing your perception of things. Having a more positive outlook on life. And if you do the groundwork, it's saying you will be supported. You start looking for a new job or a new college course, you will be supported. People will come forward. Opportunities will present itself because you're reaping the seeds you sow. Sitting in unnecessary worry and fear is not going to progress. You're not going to progress. Sunshine card. The Queen of Wands, just what we were talking about. And the Emperor. Now, this could be an Aries that comes into your life. It could be somebody with Aries in their chart. And an Aries is a very well established person. So this could be a job opportunity that comes through from somebody who's a business owner, somebody who's built up something really solid in their life. They've put a lot of work in. This could also be a tutor, somebody with a lot of knowledge that could help you. This could be advice from somebody as well that's got a lot of knowledge about something that you want to invest in. Or this could be you taking control of your life here and deciding that you're going to get in the driving seat and you're going to start up projects and you're going to put your heart and soul into things that are going to bring growth into your life. And that's where your happiness will lie. You'll start to see things growing. You'll, you're in control now. You've done your soul searching. You've listened to your intuition. And you're ready to start new projects and new ventures here. And there's a lot of sunshine here. And this little child has broke through this brick wall. And this is also about, when we're talking here about setting goals for yourself and looking at details, the emperor has built his empire through being diligent, through having structures, plans, um, strategizing, being disciplined, all these types of things is going to bring you a lot of benefits in life. Now we'll just clarify these two aces, Spirit, please. Can you clarify these two aces for me? It's all about your happiness. The Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Now, there's boredom and apathy here, and you're so wrapped up in your worrying that you're not seeing the blessings that could be presented. And that's why Spirit's talking about karma here. It's talking about you thinking about new things, new opportunities, new ventures. And consider everything. Keep an open mind. The universe is trying to give you blessings, but you might not be seeing them. We need to end this disappointment. If there's something boring and causing anxiety in your life, we need to say, right, I've had enough. You can see this. He's done. He's finished. The sun will rise in the background. There's been enough disappointments and whatever it is I'm doing, I'm ready to go forward. And I'm ready to move forward towards happiness. And like I say, this again could be somebody coming forward, a genuine person with a genuine opportunity that could support you at this time. So a good friend, a good colleague at work, a good boss, could even be a love opportunity as well, because this could be what you're looking for. It could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy, a genuine opportunity. But it's a genuine person if it's a person or it's you going towards your happiness. Oh, they want two. Positive. Positive. Enjoy this positive time. Smile and know that everything is going well. Everything's going to work out. Recharge. Please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out and look after yourself. That's what you need to be doing. You need to pamper yourself a bit and step back, recharge your batteries and try to see the positiveness in, uh, in life and have a more positive thought. Change your thought pattern. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.